Oh, uh, what the? Okay. I survived for half a second. Oh, that was you. I think someone picked up your son. My aim is silent like my phone. I got the money on the speed dial, holding space bar down, hopping like a rabbit. Hello, guys, how's it going? It's Lewis here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I would like to talk about this FPS game, Free. Now, if you haven't, well, if you haven't heard or played this game, then please definitely go and check this out. So, how many people are playing? There's only 38 people playing it at the moment. It's had 5 million visits, 130k favourite. So, it is, it is actually doing quite well, and I've not favourite and liked it. Um, but in my opinion, this is the best FPS game on Roblox at the moment. Now, bearing in mind, I've played for competitive CB Row teams. I've played for competitive Phantom Forces teams. And I've not actually played for competitive free teams, but it's still my favourite FPS. And I I, th I think it's better than Phantom Forces and CB Row. So CB Row is obviously based off CSGO. Phantom Forces is based off Battlefield, I think. And this is based off COD. Which means that it's pretty good because we've got three different games that we can play. Now, I've never played Battlefield. I've never really been a fan of Battlefield. And it's not anything against Battlefield. I've just always played COD, which might be one of the reasons I like this game, is because it's I used to play COD on the Xbox 360, and I used to love playing it. COD Ghost was my favourite. So for me to be able to play a COD game on Roblox, it's it's really good. It's, the, it's, just, it's just good to play like a childhood game. So you get perks and everything in this game. Now I have a perk that means I'm meant to be able to switch weapons quickly, but it doesn't work. Um... And I did try. I did have a perk that meant I could reload while sprinting, but that perk isn't working either. So the perks I think are are a bit a bit glitchy, but that's nothing to worry about. That's just a minor minor issue. Uh, the one thing I don't like is the radar. I find it's kind of hard to use. It's uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it because it's a nice radar. It looks really cool. But I think it's not very, it, I don't know, I just find it quite hard to use, like in PF, although I don't actually use the radar, um, if I was using the radar, I would be able to tell where enemies were and stuff, whereas with this radar, I kind of struggle to actually tell where where enemies are and stuff, so, and I can't actually tell if they're enemies through glass. This one guy keeps killing me, oh my god, I usually go 30 to 0 in these games. Or stuff like that. I usually get like a 10 KD minimum. This is not good. I've really gone downhill overnight. So obviously you get your kill streaks, you get your UAVs, whatnot, etc, etc, all that jazz. Um, which is pretty cool. I've got a drone that I'm hoping to get. Five kills and I'll get a drone that just kills anyone that's standing outside. Okay, here we go. Now just experience the sheer destruction of this drone. Don't shoot me. Oh, it's okay, my drone got him. Contact at 12 He's down. Oh! Also, spawns are a bit, uh, they're a bit broken. Like, I could sit in this corner and people would just keep spawning in front of me. Okay, so this drone's actually not very good, the one I've just got. I have to fly it myself, so we're going to lie down here and hide. And I'll show you guys what this drone is like. Perfect. So that's the kill streaks, which is something that Phantom Force is. That, that's that's one thing I've never seen in any other FPS, and that's maybe something I like the game for. Okay, okay, okay. I just missed every single shot on him. Jesus Christ. Also, you can slide. You can slide in this game. That just makes it ten times better than any other game. You can slide. Look, wee. Reloading. Changing 
Really? Let, let me show you guys the auto pistol. And we managed to get another auto drone up. So yeah, I think one of the things I like, um, and that's what I've been trying to do, is level up your guns. You get new skins when you level up your guns. Um, and basically, when you get to level 10, you then have to complete challenges. So you've got to get 50 headshots with a the gun. Then you've got to get 50 kills while crouched with the gun. Then you've got to get a 15 kill streak with the gun. Then you've got to win three games without any deaths with the gun and so on um, and yeah it's really cool actually I do like it so not only are you trying to rank up your player you're trying to rank up your weapons or your favourite weapons um, so yeah very cool game very cool game so yeah this is this I think this is really cool the kill streaks. And none of them are outside. None of them are outside. I can't get any of them. Oh, we got him. Come on, come on. I must be able to get one of these guys. Oh, and I've just used up all my ammo there. And I ran out of ammo. So you can't pick up ammo, uh, like you do in Phantom Forces, um, and maybe you can get a scavenger perk, I'm not sure. But as far as I'm aware, you can't actually pick up ammo. So you've got to be quite careful with your ammo as well. Um, I mean, you probably die a lot. Um, but this, this, this is the, just as the, this is the normal game mode I'm playing. Oh my god, my accuracy. But there's also a search and destroy game mode, which I tried to play, but I was in a lobby on my own, so I didn't actually, it wouldn't let me start the game because there was no other players. Which was a shame, um, so I, I've not actually tried search and destroy, but there is an alternative game mode, although the normal multiplayer game mode is really good. There's zombies, solo zombies, multiplayer zombies. Um, it's just your standard COD kind of stuff. That's all I can really say. So after this game, what I will do is I'll show you guys all the customization, character customization, whatnot, jazz. You've got grenades. You know the drill. Sometimes it do be like that. Anti-drone, auto-drone, remote-controlled zone. Oh, never mind. We finished the game. And. I'm still getting kills. The round ending now this I like this round ending kill cam. Now the round ending kill cam is gonna be me just standing here while my drone kills people. So yeah <coughs> sixty five to five. That's not bad. Anyway, time to show you guys the menu. This is probably gonna be a slightly longer video because I want to spend more time talking about this game and you guys always seem to want longer videos. When I put longer videos I, I maybe don't get as many views, but I get more watch time because you guys, I think you guys, you the people that actually enjoy watching me, w like watching a longer video. I know when I watch my my favorite YouTubers, I like them to do like twenty minute videos because I like to sit and watch them for twenty minutes. But from a YouTuber's perspective, if you have a really long video, people are less likely to click on it. So I don't know. So we've got some supply crates. We've only got one. So we'll just open this, see what we get. Let's try and get something good. And we didn't get anything good, so we'll just sell that. And I'll show you guys the character customization. So if you go into bunker, you can go. So there's stats, which show you all your stats. Uh, supply creates clan tag, which you can actually make, and it doesn't cost anything. I've got YT. Um, but I'm going to change it to not because I want to make a team called not a free team. So tags are gonna be not. If you're interested in joining that, just change your clan tag to not, and uh, we'll try and get as many people as we can with that clan tag. And uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Customization. 
you can unlock all these headgear items. Now, I actually accidentally sold mine, but it's still on my character, so I'm not changing it. Uh, you can change the texture of it. Eyewear, mask, so I've got those glasses on, I've got that mask on. Vest, I've got a gold vest. And then shirt and pants, there's, you can have sh short or long, so that's the, oh, oh, that's, oh, well, that was, I thought that was the pants I was changing. But no, there's that, and I'm going to actually make my character, I think I like that, I like that. You can change your skin colour and whatnot, obviously I've made mine as black as I can, because, you know, I'm edgy and cool. Um, but yeah, so that's that, and then there's the inventory where you can see all your items. So that's the gun I've been using, and these are all the textures, I can actually sell this. I will just, I'll show you guys a little bit of the zombies mode. It's just your standard, you're in a building, the zombies are trying to get through the windows, you can repair the windows, and you, you have a pistol and everything. So this is what the zombies looks like. Right, so we've just spawned in, and uh, we can, so we can repair these windows, um, which stops the zombies coming through, they have to break the windows before they get in. This guy's just going to go up to it, and obviously uh, you shoot the zombies. That's that's pretty much the aim of the game. Is you shoot you shoot the zombies. Okay, these zombies are quite high leveled. And what I just instantly got taken out. So uh, I joined at wave wave seven, and I only had a pistol. Anyway, there's a little sneak peek at zombies, and I think that wraps up my video on this game. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. My aim is silent like my phone. I got the money on the speed dial. Holding space bar down. Hopping like a rabbit on the eight mile.